Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with RWGresearch.com. So, as the internet says today, it's been a hot minute. Okay, whoever said that and blew up the internet, I'd really like to know. So if you know who said that first, like about a month ago, let me know, because everybody's saying it. I promise I will say it never again unless I slip. Sorry. Anyway, back to the video. This is a zero motorcycle update. It has been a little while and I've just been trying to do one thing at a time. I was going to build a circuit, put it on there, and it just got real complex. So here is my current drawing of what the electronics, circuitry, interlock safeties look like. That's it. Okay. And it is pretty well chicken scratch. If you don't remember, here's the original bike. It was also chicken scratch. And um, so what I did is I actually took the original controller and I removed the components and I bought a new chip that I burned up while testing on the first go round of checking this guy out. And uh, it was an op amp and I burned it up. I actually ordered the exact same one. I took the other electronics off the zero board and made a test board with them. I'll show you that in a second. And then the next thing was this board, right? This was my RS-232 converter for the BMS. And I actually happened to find this out of a TV. There's the chip. There's a number, you could probably read it. It is a dual channel um, RS-232 to TTL level logic level converter. It's an RS-232 chip. So, I happened to find a brand new single channel, one of these, in my stash. So I, I'm going to use it, but I actually had to make all the boards for the chips by hand. And let's basically get to it. I'm looking at it. You can't see it. I'll show you. But I made those by hand because I decided, instead of making a circuit board and then something not being quite right, I was going to build the entire thing on a breadboard, soldered breadboard, and test it. And use it for a little while, make sure it works perfect, and then build a board that fits inside where I'm going to be mounting the iPhone. So, let me give you a visual of the bench, because let me tell you, it's a freaking mess. Okay, I've sorted out all my relays to find the ones that I need for this project. And uh, there's my circuit diagrams. And uh, yeah, here is the circuits that I built. And this is what my bench looks like. It's, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. So I took uh, this circuit, which is the motorcycle side of the circuit, the battery. Um, you've got the power solenoid. You've got the motor controller, the motor, the BMS stuff, how to turn the BMS stuff on, the DC-DC converter, the lights, the kill switch, the key, a fuse in line. Um, the external charger, the charger relay, the throttle, um, and then the port that will be plugged into the back of the box just like the original Zero um, circuit board was. There's a connector on the back and the box is right here and it used to stick right out of the back. I'm going to build a similar box obviously with the iPhone and everything that's going to be in there. So I took this chicken scratch drawing and I turned it into a real drawing. There it is and I'm in the process of working on basically this one. So this is the other half of the actual PCB that I need to build that will be joined with the beagle bone and here is the circuit. So um, you can actually see by the looks of this chip that those pins are really really small. There's my finger ah, too close and uh, it's really small. Well the same chip here for a single channel is just as small you can see and I made this little circuit there's a capacitor right there 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 uh, there came okay, I hold the camera and my finger at the same time two resistors there this is a tiny little circuit here's the uh, the circuit that's that is the uh, op amp circuit and all the electronics there's a resistor there resistor cap there resistor there I had to use some big resistors here because that was the one I burned out on the re original zero see there's a uh, resistor there resistor there yeah these components are teeny tiny they're all surface mount stuff but what I did is I used a board with these regular copper slats on them and then I just cut 
Um, for instance, let's see if I can actually get a visual of this. That's about it right there. I actually cut the copper board with my razor blade, scraped it off, took this magnifying device. Let's see here. Can I get that to work? Boop. And there you go. That's about as good as quality as you're going to get on this shot. But actually soldered those in there and got them all right. And that's <sighs> that is a 16 pin chip and it is so freaking tiny there are so many pins right there but this is how I'm going to do the whole thing really this and this are the only two that need to be this complex everything else is going to be relay interlocks and uh, I got my interlocks here I got some opto isolators here um, and I've already proofed the complexity of the other part of the circuit so this is your update this actually took uh, actually it only took about three days of work uh, in the evening you know for a couple hours it wasn't that difficult but that is a ch that is that's crazy look at those little things just look at them I mean if I wouldn't have told you you would not realize that there's resistors right there in between those two solder balls pretty cool stuff <clears throat> so there's actually four caps in this circuit right here and two resistors See if you can find them all. You can't find them all unless you look three-dimensionally. I can't hold the camera still enough. Okay, anyway, proof. Everything's working. Proofed out. So happy about the result here. And then I'm actually going to be taking these. Uh, these are actually Allen Bradley um, devices in, her, in, her, uh, in a PLC, right? These are cards for the PLC. They plug into the back plane. And I uh, actually used one of these on one of the other projects a while back. But they have really nice opto isolators, the resistors you need, the caps you need, the uh, transistors you need, and the relays you need. And so I'm just going to replace. Uh, I'm going to use the components off here to actually build the circuit, and then use the slightly bigger relays where I need them and change the voltages where I need them. Blah blah blah. So anyway. I just wanted to give you that short little update, tell you I'm still alive, hope you all are doing well. And uh, there she is sitting here in pieces still. I did get insurance on this thing so I can legally drive it on the road. The next thing to do is get the plates for it and I'm getting pretty close to going on my first actual journey. Now I have been riding this around to test the battery and I was able to get, there it is still on there, 18.1 miles on a single charge doing like a back road drive where you're coasting for some of it it's all flat though but you know you're coasting up to stop signs and you're accelerating accelerating away and this was on a slow ramp on a full out uh, Russ's Russ's send mode here Russ's full send mode <laughs> um, when I do that one it's definitely not quite as good but it does work I got about 13 miles out of it. Still having slight, slight problems with the balancer not doing a perfect job, but I think it's because I got two boards in there. I need to either take one out or something, but whatever. I also rigged up, um, you haven't seen this, I rigged up a 12 volt output, right, just a barrel jack output, right next to the charger. So the BMS has a built in system where it'll turn off when the battery gets too full and it's actually designed right to run wherever that giant contactor went it's sitting around here somewhere in this giant mess I don't even know where it's at but anyway um, that big there it is this big contactor is designed to be for your charge circuit well I put a solid state one on the side of the charger and I put some fans on there so I'm using the 3 amp capacity 12 volt output to actually turn on and off the 120 volt AC input you can see that on my circuit here so I actually have a charge relay right here which goes on the high side of the ACN on the charger so some chargers do not like being disconnected while under load so I thought well that's fine I'll turn off the AC that should be more safe and so that's exactly what I've done here I've taken the 5 volt um, 2.5 or 3 amp output and actually running some fans and a solid state relay 
or you could do a mechanical relay, but instead of doing it on the high current DC side, which could cause you problems when you disconnect it and do some weird flyback stuff and possibly damage the charger, I'm doing it on the slightly lower amperage AC side. So it's actually better for two reasons. One, it's less amperage on your relay, and two, um, it may not blow up your charger. That's cool, right? If you bought a charger that came with and works with the BMS unit, you can actually plug it right into the unit and it will do the self-regulating for you. That would be the ideal. They're not too expensive, they're about 300 bucks, but I don't have 300 bucks. I'm not gonna buy that. So, yeah, that's what I got. That's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing, this is what I've been doing. It's, uh, yeah, thousands of other things going on, but this one I've been trying to get done and I'm getting pretty close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build in all of the relays and the opto isolators, those are like the last part that I need to add in. Everything else is done. And then document it really well and then build an actual printed circuit board that all these components will be going on inside the box with the beagle bone, inside the head unit with the custom app. And that's it. We're getting pretty close to calling this project done. I can get back to doing other interesting crazy things like the cheesy fed. What are you doing now? Eating cheese! I caught you! She's a cheese eater. She <laughs> likes to eat her cheese. Anyway, anything to say? I love hot weather. She loves hot weather. I'm over here dying. <laughs> I'm literally like half dead over here from this heat, but whatever. Grandpa, when he came into town last year, he put in the styrofoam on the door here. Really, really helped. So anyway, so that's your update. Hope you guys are having a safe, interesting, lifestyle right now in this crazy world we live in. Our church opened. Our church finally opened back up, so that's cool. Cause that's important. And as usual, read the Bible more, and I'll talk to you guys later. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Bye.